okay today we learn about the view router so if you try to type view router sorry my vue.js or let's go into the vue.js somewhere get started and here you will be having a routing okay so this is the routing concept official router so view router library let's go into this one or otherwise let's go into the documentation yeah so this is the documentation so view routing has a separate documentation now let's see how we can install the view routing and how we can add the view routing thing let's try to see it i am creating a new project again let's create a new project command prompt i am going into the d drive let's open this one we already have some of the projects right i didn't remember exactly let's open this one let's go to the d drive view crud view pro okay fine we have, we have created some of things okay let's go and create npm init view i am creating npm init view new project i am creating let us create a project so while we starting the routing thing what is this one it is asking something i press i did something wrong or what let's go again we'll see it getting started introduction getting start vue.js creating an application application instance introduction let's go into this one where we have seen quick start try view online okay npm minute view at the rate latest that is only right we have created let's see view at the rate latest inside it <clears throat> okay so we need to use uh, view at the rate latest project name is view hyphen routing i am using view hyphen routing so we are learning about the routing today so project name view open routing so typescript nothing is needed jscript so routing is also not needed we'll add it manually so these are all not needed we'll add it try to add it manually so let's create it okay so we'll go into the view hyphen routing and do the npm install all are installed let's open this one in the let's open this one in the visual studio code i am opening this one in the visual studio code yeah so this is the thing we are having it right let's create let's delete all the boilerplate code what they have given it icons and hello world welcome these all things i am deleting it yet. in the app dot view also i will make it as a simple only so these are all the things i am deleting it right those are all deleted let's delete this one also so delete this template and all those things also so i'm deleting these tiles and all those things <coughs> in the main.js also i can remove this one all okay fine let's install the bootstrap also so that we can have it very easily So I am insta I am delete I am taking this one. JS, not JS. Here is one. Yeah, copy this one and paste it in index.html. Or otherwise you can do npm install bootstrap and add it directly also, or you can import it also. That's a different thing. So now here, so that's it. So now we have did the basic thing. So now what I want to do is so we are learning about the view routing, right? The view routing for doing this view routing what we need to do is we need to install the view routing so cdn means you can directly use this one script module but we are already using this npm install and all those things right so let's try to install the view router so for installing this view router npm install view hyphen router so they have given at the rate 4 right so at the rate 4 let's try to install it so npm install view router so this is the command which we are trying to use it so let it install so 
after this one is installed so view rotor has been installed if you go to the package.json so here we are having the view router 4.1.6 something around we have installed it now what is that i want to do is so here i will create a pages so in the source i am creating a new folder pages so here in this pages folder what i will try to do is where is the pages folder still creating so let it create so pages in these pages i am having three components something like home home dot view and about about dot view about us and also i am having another one contact so just i am keeping the folder pages if you want you can also add it in the components also not a problem so contact dot view so this is a simple thing which i am having so this one let's try to rename it my b button is somewhat hard okay template so template i am having here i will be creating home page right home page so here i can have a script again so here i will be using export default so this is a normal basic thing so let's try to copy this one all and i will paste it in the contact dot view also this is a contact page and here i will be having another one that is an about page so we are having two page three pages and let's go to the main.js we have installed the view router right so here in this one so let's try to define the routes so defining the routes constant routes is equal to so here this one will take an array of object so first one is path so if anybody opens a home page then you need to load the component component home page okay home you need to load it so you need to import the home that is nothing but home we have created it right a component from pages so pages in the pages you will be having home.view in the same scenario you can load contact and also the about also so these are the three pages which we are trying to load it contact and also another one is about so now we have routes path home page means component home and another one we need to define so another one is path anybody who opens slash contact then we need to load a component contact so now we are having another path so another one another path we need to have so that is nothing but path anybody loads slash about so load the component about that's it so we have created the routes now let's try to split this one constant app is equal to and here we need to remove this one and here you can add app dot mount like this i am dividing so here we have defined this routes right so here we need to use app dot use of and here we need to add router okay so router you will be having router i didn't remember exactly router uh, router only right so let's try to see again in the in this one in the view router so we have installed it getting started so here uh, these all things let's leave it so we have this one all path routes you have given create router okay we need to use the create router so we need to define constant router is equal to okay so we need to use it something like constant router is equal to create router so now we need to create a router create router this will be imported from the view router see here create router is imported from the view router so it will take some couple of options so first one will be uh, web history so history is equal to create web hash history so now we can read we can write history i will try to show i will try to explain you one by one this one also so for right now we will take create web history only so we will be having two things create web hash history and also the create web history first we will take about the create web history only so next one is the routes so we need to define the routes so whatever the routes we have defined it we need to add it here so these are the routes thing so this is the router we have initialized the router and afterwards we need to use it app dot use of router so this is the process so that's it so this is the one time process we will be doing for initializing the router so this is how we will be creating the router 
now we have successfully created the router right let's try to run it the project <clears throat> npm run dev oh npm run dev yeah So let it install. So sorry, let it build. By the time, let's go and open this one. One twenty seven point zero point five one seven three. I hope we will be able to see a home page. It's down. It's running. Still running. Yeah, it's running now. I hope this one needs to run it. Let it see. Yeah, so now we are able to run it. So here, if I try to refresh this page, yeah, so now I'm able to see, I'm not able to see anything right here. So what we need to do is, so first successfully we have initialized the routes concept. So first we have initialized the routes concept. So I will try to show you why we are not able to see. Why? Because in the app.view we haven't added anything. Okay, here we haven't added anything. Do so hi, hello world or something like this. If I add it here, Sorry, in the script I have added, right? In the template, we need to add it. Yeah. So now we will be able to see hello world, something like that. So now we have created home about us contacting, right? And also we have created a routing for this one. So let's see how we can display these all the routes and all the things. I will try to explain you. So this is how normally generally we will be creating a routes. What we have did now. So these are pages leave it for creating the routes concept. So we have created a variable. That is nothing but takes all the routing parameters, routing thing. So when we need, when we open a home page, what is the component we need to load? When user type slash contact, what is the component we need to load? When when user type slash about, what is the component we need to load? And we need to initialize the router. So create router history. We will, I will try to explain you what is this one history. So we need to keep create web history or create web hash history. Also, we can use it. Well, while going and I will try. I will explain you what is the difference between those two. And we need to assign the routes to the router and this router variable will be available globally to all the components and to all the project and we need to use it in the router. We need to submit it to the app thing. So this is how we will be initializing the router. Now for loading the routers, we will try to see how we can uh, show these all the routings in our components. Let's try to, uh, I will try to explain you. <coughs> 